Привіт, привіт! Мене звати Інна. My name is Ina. Welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. Вітаю вас на каналі Speak Ukrainian. In this video I would like to tell you about the popular Ukrainian names and their meanings. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments about it. Ну що, почнімо? Let's get started. Guys, more than one year ago I recorded a video about Ukrainian patronymic names. You can check it out. But today we're going to talk about the first names in uh, Ukrainian language. So you know that um, names, they can tell us a lot about uh, culture, history and world's view of the nation. And uh, I think Ukrainian traditional names, they are very beautiful and now they are very popular. So you might hear uh, lots of uh, unusual names when you, you know, would like to meet some friends among Ukrainians. So you can hear such name as Sviatoslav. 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 Uh, the origin. Uh, Old East Slavic. Uh, name and uh, what is its meaning? Uh, Svyata Slava. Svyata, it means glory. Uh, oi, holy, I'm sorry. Svyata, holy. Slava, glory. Svyato Slav. Svyata Slava, holy, glory. So usually um, Svetoslav, uh, man um, who has this name, their nickname is just Slava. Slava. Так? I think it's very beautiful. Another name is Vyacheslav. Vyacheslav. So uh, in Ukrainian language we have this very popular part like Slava, Slav in the names, like both uh, female and male. Vyacheslav origin Old East Slavic Vyacheslava so Vyacheslava means more glory Vyache we don't have this word in the modern Ukrainian language um, in its meaning as more right now but it's very old one so previously in the old Slavonic name um, Vyache meant more so Vyacheslava more glory or the most glorified. Okay, the next one. Miroslav. This is the male version. And Miroslava is the female version. Miroslav, Miroslava. So some of the names, they have uh, this um, like unisex forms. That uh, origin. Old is Slavic. Mir is Slava. Mir, peace. Slava, glory. Again, yeah, this part. Miroslav, Miroslava. Another one. Yaroslav, Yaroslava. Yaroslav, male. Uh, Yaroslava, female. Uh, origin. Again, it's Old East Slavic. And uh, <clears throat> Yari meant uh, bright. Slava, glory. Again, tak? Yari. So, bright glory. Very beautiful names and their origins. What do you think, guys? Okay. Um, also, uh, there are some Scandinavian origin names. In Ukraine, mostly, uh, they were the names of the first rulers who established Rus. Kyivska Rus. Tak? Uh, Kyivska Rus. Uh, so, Kyivska Rus was formed uh, in the 8th century. Uh, and the capital of it was Kyiv. Kyiv, not Kyiv, guys, not Kyiv. Kyiv, Kyiv. Please repeat after me. Kyiv. So these Scandinavian names are Ihor. Ihor, origin derived from the Old Norse name uh, Ingvar, god of fertility and uh, solicitous, warlike. Ihor. Так, so we had. Um, Kniaz Ihor uh, in Ukraine, tak? so uh, therefore this name uh, it has a big history. The next one, Olha, Olha, <coughs> uh, and Oleg, Olha, Oleg, Olha, female, Oleg, it's male, uh, 
short form of Olha is Olha, like nickname. Origin. Both of the names came from the Old Norse Helga uh, and masculine from Helgi. I hope I pronounced correct. And means dedicated, saint, holy. Так? Княгиня Ольга. We had also this uh, Prince uh, Igor, Princess Olga, uh, Prince Oleg. So, yeah. That's the history. A little bit of coffee. Oh, it's uh, so cloudy today in the UK. I'm a little bit sleepy. Okay. Let's continue. Так, the majority of Ukrainian names originate from biblical uh, characters or saints. Uh, the names came from Hebrew, Greek or Latin. The most popular are Maria, так, origin, Hebrew, Mariam, the mother of Jesus Christ. Maria, to the Ukrainian language, came from the Greek name, and I think you can read it, uh, I'm sorry, I can't uh, read in Greek language. A uh, famous uh, person with this name, uh, yeah, Maria Premachenko. Yeah, it's a famous Ukrainian um, artist. Yeah, Maria. By the way, you can ask me, okay, what about your name? Is it Ukrainian? I have never heard this name before, Ina. Uh, let me tell you a little bit uh, <laughs> my story. So, Ina. This is uh, a name, it has a Greek origin. And why uh, did my mom decide, decide to uh, give me this name? So my uh, grandma and my uncle, they are very religious people. My uncle, he is a priest. And uh, uh, they have the idea that the kids have to get their names according to the um, church calendar. So I was born on uh, June 30 and um, very close to this da date, such uh, three saints uh, people were born and their names were Inna, Rima, Pima. Oh my God, so weird names. I mean, Inna, yeah, it's... it's, it's uh, the, this uh, this name is not very popular, yes, but I, I met some Ina in my life in Ukraine. Rima is uh, so rare, but although my cousin uh, has a wife and her name is Rima and Pima, I have never heard it before. So there were three saints, three Greek uh, saints, and therefore, um, as I was born on the day very close to the to the both days of the saint therefore my uh, grandma told my mom to name me after one of the saints and my mom picked up the name Ina so therefore that's my name Ina it has a Greek origin <laughs> Ina um, yeah I think it means some like um, I'm not sure but I think it means like uh, like um, like a waterfall, uh, like a mm, stormy waterfall, something like that. I don't remember, sorry. Yeah, but it's interesting. Okay, let's continue. Ivan, uh, Ivan, origin, Hebrew. God uh, is gracious to the uh, Ukrainian language, came from Greek. Uh, this versions of the name, you can check it out. Yeah, uh, and uh, forms of the name are um, Iva, Ivasik, Ivanchik. Like Ivan Franko is the famous Ukrainian writer uh, who lived um, uh, in the second, um, the second half of the uh, 19th century and then he died at the beginning of the 20th century. The next name is Taras. Uh, Taras, it has a Greek origin that means restless, rebel, um, like Taras Shevchenko, yes, one of the greatest Ukrainian artists, he is our father, so we are so uh, proud of him and he inspires us right now to fight for our freedom. Katerina, Katerina, origin, old Greek, perfect, innocent, pure. Katerina. So yeah, some of these names they have uh, um, like equivalent, like 
for example, in English, it's Kate, Catherine, yeah, Taras, no equivalent, or Ivan, Ivan, Maria, it's Mary, uh, Olha, can say Ole Hihor Ni, and then Svetoslav, Yacheslav, Miroslav, Yaroslav uh, are very unique. I have never heard that there was some equivalence of these names in, in other languages, but maybe I'm wrong. If you have any information about that, please write in the comments below. And please write me, what is your name? Does it have a Ukrainian origin? Please tell me, I'm very curious. And I would like to provide you some information. According to the statistics, uh, the most popular names in 2023 among boys are Matvi, uh, from Old Hebrew, gift of Yavech, I don't know what is that. Maxim, Maxim, uh, from Latin Maximus, the biggest, the greatest. David, from Old Hebrew, beloved. Danilo, from Hebrew, God is my judge. Very interesting. Also, the name Bohdan, tak, takosh. Uh, it's a very popular name in Ukraine, like Boh, it means God. Dan is Davate, so it's like given by God, Bohdan. Uh, tak, uh, Marko, from Latin name Marcus, uh, they're from the name of the God Mars. Tak, among girls. Uh, Anna came from Greek, uh, they're from Hebrew, Hanna, Grace, Favor. Tak, also very popular name, Maria, I explained it earlier, Anastasia, Anastasia from Greek, uh, meaning um, resurrection, interesting, resurrection, I have never heard this word before, <laughs> to tell the truth, okay, mm, or oh, I have never used it. Milana, from Slavic mil, it means nice, favored, and Jana, Jana from Hebrew, God is gracious. And also, it's very, uh, it's very funny because uh, during 2022, there were such popular names in Ukraine, very rare and victorious names, we can say like Kuy, Kuy, um, this, uh, this is the name of one of the founders of Kuyev. So there is a legend that there were three brothers and a sister, and they are founders of Kuyev, and their names were Kuy, Shchak, Horiv, and their sister Libid. So there were three uh, like hills, Kui, um, there were three hills, they were named after these brothers, and the Kui was, uh, was uh, founded on them, so, and after the oldest brother, uh, the main city of Kuyevska Rus was named after him, and his name was Kui, so Kuyev, and Libit, there is a river in Kuyev that is named after the name of the sister. And you can um, see this beautiful statue in Kuyev that is dedicated to this wonderful people. Stefania, so I, I'm sure you heard this song. Stefania, mama, mama, Stefania, rozkvitaje pole, a vona syvije, itd. Stefania, Stefania, mamo. Uh, like Stephanie. Yes, there is equivalent, but uh, in Ukrainian, Stefania. Hello, my student Stephanie. Привіт, привіт, як твої справи? Javelina. So you know this uh, weapon, javelin. Javelina. So some Ukrainian parents call their daughter Javelina. Maria. It means dream. We don't have this name, but some um, parents call their daughter Maria. Maria, dream. It's beautiful. I would like to call my daughter like this. Bayraktar. So you know this Turkish um, plane. Yeah, Bayraktar. Some, some parents call their son like this. Yeah, so it's very interesting. So guys, uh, I think you noticed that today I have a little bit different camera. And I want to say special thank you to my patrons who support and donate to my YouTube channel. 
and with the help of your support I can buy some new uh, lightning, uh, camera, microphone. I can keep working and improve it. You inspire me. Thank you so much. Guys, if you want to support me, you can do it through Patreon or here with the super thank bottom. Dojo Guys, you can see this beautiful, wonderful hoodie, uh, her son and other uh, t-shirts, hoodie uh, about her son. It's my um, native town. Uh, you can buy in my charity store, buy a t-shirt, save Ukrainian life. Please support it. And right now it is very important because winter is coming. It's very cold in Kherson region and many people lost their houses and they have to live in the basements or in the destroyed buildings. And therefore me and my volunteers are going to purchase many uh, like uh, stoves that they can uh, use them at them. Uh, heaters in the flats or houses, so please support all money uh, uh, I send to my Herson volunteers. Uh, please write me about your name, uh, your uh, your feedback about this video, I appreciate it. Subscribe to my Instagram account, <coughs> Sub subscribe to this YouTube channel. Very soon we will have 50,000 subscribers. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my god. So cool. Дуже дякую. Ваша вчителька Іна, your teacher Іна and папа. Bye-bye.